Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. As many of you prepare to enjoy your Thanksgiving meal, there's been a lot of talk in the media about how this could be the most expensive Thanksgiving in a long time. Last year, we just celebrated the Thanksgiving that cost us the least ever. And it was about for 10 people, it was less than $50. And if you think about it, for 10 people, that is a relatively inexpensive meal to come together. So they talk about costs being up about 10% this year. And even when you consider that 10% increase, we are still spending less of our dollar earned for food than any other country in the world. And that's definitely something to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. I am thankful for all of our farmers in our community that work hard every single day to make sure that we have enough food, to make sure that our costs are kept low, and to make sure that we have an abundant food choice and that our food that we put on our table is safe. So today I thought I would share some of the farm facts from the American Farm Bureau Federation. And one of those is that farm and ranch families make up less than 2% of the United States population. This means anyone who does not have a direct day-to-day -day knowledge about farming or ranching is in the majority. If you're part of that 98%, we would love to share some fascinating facts about farming and agriculture that you can have in your back pocket the next time this subject comes up. So about 8% of U.S. farms market food locally, and we have a thriving local food market. So when you think about it, 8% of U.S. farms market that, and that's direct to consumer or intermediate sales, such as farmers markets, on-farm markets, or community-supported agriculture, where you subscribe to get a weekly share of whatever's raised on that farm each week, or food hubs. And so if you buy food locally, it provides the opportunity to one, talk to those farmers who grow the produce, the fresh fruits and vegetables, or the flowers, meats and cheeses, or other value added products that we have. The other thing is, is that you get to support that farm and our local economy. We have two farmers markets in Warren County that are open year round. The community farmers market on Nashville Road and the Soakey Marketplace crop shop that's located downtown. The community farmers market is open Tuesdays and Saturdays, Tuesday afternoons and Saturday mornings. And the Soakey Marketplace crop shop is directly across the street from the Hot Rod Stadium in the old Taylor's Chapel Church right next to the ice rink. And it's open Saturday mornings from 9 a.m. until noon. The other thing is technology and how much technology is used in agriculture. The GPS technology that farmers use is more precise than what most people use in their personal cars or pickup trucks. GPS used by farmers is typically accurate within a few inches. Farmers who use tractors with auto steer technology drive hands-free in straight lines with less effort and that reduces fatigue. Using auto steer also helps ensure crops are planted in consistent rows when different people take a turn in the driver's seat. Another interesting fact about agriculture is we're producing more on fewer acres. Today, agriculture accounts for less than 10% of the total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. That's far less than the transportation, electricity generation, and industry sectors. Put simply, farmers continue to produce more with greater efficiency, and economic analysis reveals that U.S. agriculture would have needed nearly 100 million more acres in 1990 to to match the 2018 production levels. U.S. farmers deploy a variety of techniques to proactively manage and preserve soil used. This includes planting cover crops and using conservation tillage practices in addition to expanding the use of no-till cropping systems. These practices help conserve soil while preserving and increasing the nutrients and improving water quality. Trapping the excess carbon in the soil and reducing greenhouse gas emissions are also benefits. Sustainable soil use and resource conservation efforts by farmers have increased by 34 million acres in just the last five years. Closely related, 15% of all U.S. farmland is used for conservation and wildlife habitat. And those are things certainly to be thankful for. We from the Cooperative Extension Service wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving, and we appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show. Have a great day.